Okay, the clay is coming from that rectangular hole over there. I don't want you to look there. If you look there, the clay is going to beat you. It's out in front, yeah, and your eyes will take a long time to focus. So I want a nice soft focus to the left of that skeet house and somewhere up in the open air. Okay, I want you to call pull and then say now when you can see this target clearly. Pull. Now. Right, basically you saw it as it broke the skyline. Yeah. Yep. Now, if we put the gun on there, the clay will beat us every time again. It'll be out in front of the gun and you'll be playing catch up. Chances are we'll miss it in front because of the madly wild swing. Okay, so we place the gun, our gun hold position, out from that visual pickup point by our reaction time. Right. You understand that? Yep. Okay, so this time what I want you to do is look to your visual pickup point, call pull, and with your left index finger, when the player is at your visual pickup point, bring your finger up and point to it. Okay? Right. You understand that? I think so. Okay, lovely. So on your call. Nice node. Hand down by your side. That's great. Okay, so call pull. Pull. Good. Okay, so what aligns with that finger in the distance there? The bush? Yeah, the bush is just at the roadside. Okay, that's your gun hold position. You can put your hand down now. Okay. That's away from your visual pickup point by your reaction time. Yep. Okay. And the last point, probably the most important, is where we're going to break the clay. That's called a break point, and we'll break it, we'll pull the trigger somewhere here. Okay. Yep. So I want your leading foot, as a right shoulder shooter, your leading foot is your left foot, pointing in that general direction. That's it, can you stand here, because I do need to get behind you. Yeah? Okay, can you actually move it round? That's it, lovely. So it's pointing over there. Yep. We need to be at balance at the point of pulling the trigger. Okay. So now, what I want you to do is point at that point with your finger. Yep. With your opposite hand, put that on your elbow. Okay. Right now, wind back to your gun hold position. Yep. Yeah, okay. So this time, look to your visual pickup point, call pull, and as the clay comes out, point at it and move with it. Okay. Pull. Okay, lovely. Now the reason I got you to put your hand on the elbow like that is when moving with the clay, you're moving your whole body, aren't you? Yep. If I didn't do that, you could point at it without moving your body. Okay? Yeah. So you're fully happy with that? Yep. And yep. quite comfortable where your feet are? Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to try it with the gun. Okay. Okay, can you... Close the gun up as I showed you inside. That's it, lovely. Into your shoulder, into the break point. That's lovely. Now wind back to the gun hold position. Look to your visual pickup point and call pull. Pull. Right, okay. De uh, gun down and open. That's lovely. Do you think you're pointing at that? At the At the clay? clay. Yeah. You do? Right. Although you inside you looked you appeared to be right eye dominant yep here the left eye is coming in right. so we're going to have to close it there's three solutions around that problem I, I can go into later but by far the quickest at this moment in time is to close it okay. and make your right eye the dominant one okay okay so this time can you close the gun put it into your shoulder mount into the brake zone that's lovely Wind back to your gun hold position, close your left eye, and look for the clay. Pull. Lovely. Okay, gun down and open. Excellent. Okay, so we'll try a cartridge now. Yep. Yeah, can you mount into the brake zone each time and wind back. That way we get some reverse muscle memory into the shot. Yep. Pull. Gun down and open. That's excellent. Okay? Lovely. Excellent. We can progress. 